Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Now then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son of her old age, and this is now the sixth month of her who was called barren. For God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord. Then it to be according to your word, and the angel departed from her.
Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Jesus. Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. Sing out 
And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
country, shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over the flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all the people. For, is it, for there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with the haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. 
Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child, and all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king. Behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east and have come to worship him. When they had heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, 
and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
In this, the love of God was manifested toward us, that God had sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it, with, just, with judgment and justice, from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this.
Hallelujah. There's probably one verse of scripture that almost everybody knows, and that would be John 3.16. Would you just say it with me? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, many of us have probably had the experience of either at school or at work or with your family of maybe a gift exchange. Maybe you would even draw a name and you'd go buy a gift in exchange with that person at work or at, or at school. But um, the whole thing about Christmas is that Jesus came for a great gift exchange. The gift exchange is this. He will exchange your sin for his forgiveness. He will exchange your pain for his comfort. He will exchange your hopelessness for his hope. He will exchange whatever it is that weighs you down with anxiety and worry for peace that just doesn't make exchange, a sense. It's a beautiful exchange. He won't force it upon you, but he offers the great exchange. Before we go any further, could we just maybe bow our head? And I know every one of us have some type of burden that we carry, some type of need that we have. And could I just encourage you in this moment just to make that exchange to the Lord? If you need forgiveness, he said, if you'll ask me, I will forgive you of all of your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. If you've got sickness, I have good news. He's already bore stripes at Calvary so that you could receive healing in Jesus' name. He said, if you are burdened and heavy laden, come to me and I'll exchange you that for a rest for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus, we just want to take a moment right now to thank you for coming from the splendors of heaven to come and first teach us how to live, teach us how to love one another, teach us how to forgive, teach us how to trust our Heavenly Father. But secondly, Lord, we thank you for going to Calvary, for bearing stripes upon your back for our healing and for dying for our sin. And we thank you, Lord, that you became poor that we become rich in spirit. And today, Lord, I pray that each of us would make that great exchange with you. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise and glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. We are so delighted that you took time tonight to, to celebrate with us the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to our worship pastor who put all this together, Yvonne Walkers, didn't she? Didn't, 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 didn't. And uh, uh, we're so blessed to have so much talent with us and, uh, and I hope that you enjoyed it. But we want you to participate with us. And so all of you got a candle when you came in. And um, let me give you some instructions. Right now, some ushers are coming down forward. Why don't you stand with me? We're going to sing a couple of songs together, but we want to light our candle. And here's, here's what we're going to do. They're going to come, and ushers, if you'll come right now, they're going to light both from the front and the back. They're going to start lighting candles from the, in, the, at the, uh, in the aisle here. And what we want you to do is if your candle's lit, don't turn it to light the next person. You keep your lit candle lit they will turn their candle to you okay and then they will have theirs lit and pass it to your neighbor all the way down until we all and then we're going to just take a moment to do that we're doing it on the platform as well and uh i need my candle thank you son and what we'd love for you to do is just hold it out in front of you in front of your face and um, as soon as everybody's candles lit, this, we're going to turn the lights down. And this would be one time I want to ask not to use your cell phone, okay? We don't want to ruin the moment with cell phones. 
But um, Yvonne's going to come and lead us in a couple of uh, 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 all these awesome people are going to lead us in a couple of Christmas carols as we close out our candlelight service tonight. Let's worship together. can gently blow out your candles very softly. What an amazing night we've had tonight. Um, I just want to take a few moments um, to thank some amazing people that have made this night happen. First, I'd like to thank the singers and the readers. You guys are amazing. Let's give it up for them. Woo, woo, woo. Our awesome
awesome band that has like just gone above and beyond. So thank you for the band and the band members back there. A special thank you to John who started up all this stuff back in the drum cage. He was making this night happen, let me tell you. <laughs> um, uh, not uh, to be forgotten is our tech team, our audio visual team, our lighting. You guys rocked it out of the park tonight. Um, special thank you, he's going to hate me for saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, Nick has really helped me um, just come alongside me, so thank you, Nick. Um, yeah, he deserves that because, <laughs> like, I could not have done this without, I could have not done this without anybody. <laughs> um, and I want to lastly thank you for coming. Um, we wouldn't have had an, an amazing night if you guys didn't show up and share in this moment with us, and we're just excited that you guys um, got to be in this moment with us. Um, and so we also want to say thank oh, you whoops. for all of the hard work that you have done. So Aww. from all of us to you. You guys are awesome. crazy. I'm going to set these down. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Um, we are going to sing one last um, carol on our way out. Um, we're going to sing Joy to the World. And I just, I love that the Lord has come. Let earth receive your King. And in this moment, um, during this season, that you would remember to receive Christ in whatever way that looks like. Um, just take a moment to receive him and acknowledge him in your day, in your moments that you go throughout your day. It's a holiday season. It can get really busy, and we can tend to kind of forget really what the season is about. Um, so make sure we take those moments. And on your way out after we're done singing this last um, carol, there will be baskets in the back to um, drop off your candles. Um, so we'll go ahead and sing that last carol. Here we go.